Come, my darlings, come! You don't want to miss the show! Uh, seminar, I mean. I, your wonderful CEO, welcomes you, my workers, to say yes more! <laughs> Working here in our company is more than just work. It's a lifestyle. We're your family now. And family says yes to each other. Family helps each other, grows together. It's time for all of us to open up, to become real team players. It's time to say yes. Do you sometimes feel like you're trapped in a cage? Fun fact, the cage is a metaphor. Life wants to cage you, but you've got to break free. Be yourself. Why not if no one's getting hurt? Be as weird, as strange, as normal as you really are. Break through this metaphorical cage of life. How? With a wacky no! Yeah! Swap to a wacky no by doing this. Try it. I need you to stable together some papers. But because I did it wrong, you need to unstable them first. No, Rearrange no, them no, and then no. staple them again. Yeah. No. Another! Intern, do all my work for a week. No, no, no. I'm oh. going to responsible. Good job. Now that you know how to nod, clap and laugh, it's time to learn how to respond to requests from co-workers sarcastically. Use that time to consider everything you'd rather be doing instead. So do this to go, hmm. Pay for my lunch, in turn. Hmm. I mean, hmm? Hmm. Um, but yeah. I'm not even hungry. Another. In turn, join my upside down triangle scheme. No, it's nothing like a pyramid scheme. It just give me money and get others to give you money and give a cut of that to me and get those people to get other people to give them money then you get a cut of that and you give a cut of that to me simple right this is clearly a pyramid scheme no no Wait, no let me explain it just gives me more mm. interesting no! It is a pyramid scheme! You are so good! Now return, my prodigy! You can do it! Which is why I decided to have... A debate! <laughs> That's right! It's not enough that I just extol the virtues of yes! We'll pit them against each other to show you who is right and our first contestant! Totally randomly selected from every audience member! Is that intern over there? Yes! This is going to be great! Mm hmm Wonderful! What's your name, kid? Uh, Noah. What a cursed name! Don't worry, my dear. I will rescue you. With my CEO powers, I will remove that poisonous word from your name. You shall now be called... Ah! What? Just ah! My blessed intern. Good. Ah will represent the yes side. And on the side of not yes, we'll have a very special guest. It's this other intern who's been causing so much trouble. What's your name, intern? Your name, please? Mm. Ah. Good. <laughs> that is not a name, intern. Give you a proper name, then one that suits someone like you. You are now called Noah! Aww. But hush! Uh, yeah. Of course, we are debating for something more than pride. Yeah. The winner of the debate will be given this lunchbox! Cool. Oh, neat! Wait, isn't that your lunchbox? Round one! Cool. First question! Your leader needs you to skip lunch. What do you say to that? Wrong. I'm sorry. The right answer.
answer is yes. Nothing wrong with skipping lunch now and then. Next question. Your supervisor needs you to stay late. What do you say to that? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I was looking for a yes. Next question. Your boss needs you to copy some papers. What do you say to that? Oh, uh, doesn't the boss have, like, a secretary? Or, you know, the boss could copy the papers themselves? Don't think no. so. Oh, my. Unfortunately, the right answer was yes. Next question. Your president needs you to take out the trash. What do you say to that? Wait, what? I I'm, I'm confused. Don't we have janitors? Because trash wasn't in my job description. Oh, so close yet so far. The answer we were looking for was yes. Last question. The big one. Your CEO needs you to pay her parking tickets. What do you say to that? What? Hmm? Uh, how do you mean? What? How do you mean? What? Wrong answer. We wanted to hear yes. You have unpaid parking tickets? What? <laughs> no way. And you wanted me to pay them? You're doing pretty badly, Noah. Huh? Not you! What do you have to say to that? <laughs> Whoa! Now that's what I call a heated discussion. <laughs> Let's take a short break. Break, 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 break. Hmm? I think this show is great, too. <laughs> huh? Okay, no break then. Round two! It's time for questions from the audience. Hello, yes, I have a dilemma. My co-worker plays his music too loud. He just tells me to deal with it. Should I just deal with it? Go! Oh, um, how about wearing your own headphones? Or maybe some earplugs? <laughs> oh, you're right. Why should I have to deal with it? He can just wear headphones. Interesting. Well, next question. You! Uh, is it normal that my deskmate keeps sniffling? We've tried lots of things, but she just keeps sniffling. Why am I the weird one? What's going on? Answer them! Well, it sounds like she just has a cold. That's pretty normal. Oh, it is? Yeah, maybe get some medicine no! for her. Yeah, it's not normal to keep working when you are ill. Yeah! She should go home. I'll tell her that. <laughs> Next question. Yes. You. Hello. Yes. Long time listener, first time speaker. Do I have to go to my coworkers' party? I don't want to, even though I like my coworkers. I really do. But not enough to give up an evening for them, you know? Should I go? What do you say to that? Brenda, are you talking about Jim's party? Yeah. Okay, I know what you mean. Yep, Jim's a character. Hey, nobody has to come to my party. Shh. Still, I'd say you should go. Mm. Interesting. No. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Hey, Jim, I won't be at your party tonight. Okay. Thank you for being honest with me, Brenda. Okay. Well, time for the next question. You! Tell me what's wrong with you. Do I always have to buy the milk? I, it's always... Go get us more milk, Gordon. Gordon, we've run out of milk. Go to the store, Gordon, and buy more milk for everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm more than just the dairy procurement yeah. officer. I'm Gordon! And I'm lactose intolerant! I hate this job! I quit! Well, that was... something. 
Next one! Staring contest! <laughs> OMG! This is exciting! <laughs> oh! I blinked! I'm out! <laughs> I saw you blink. You're out. I wasn't playing. <laughs> Noah is still in the game. Impressive. Classic <laughs> loser response. What a bummer, Noah. <laughs> Next question. Hey, yeah, I've got one. Oh, it's the real, the real third intern. Say you're the CEO and you've got a bad intern. They're disruptive. Not open to feedback, not working. Would you fire them? What a thrilling question! What's the answer? Well, I mean, you can't just. Oh. Yes. <gasps> okay. Yikes! Noah, please stop breaking the set! Oh, sorry. Hmm? Oh, don't worry about it, Ah. You're doing great. Okay, <laughs> everyone, the final round is coming up! Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Final round! Final round! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Uh -huh. Yeah! 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 I'm ready too, Noah! Yeah! Okay, that's ready enough. Here it comes. The final round! The fire pit! Yay! Oh. <laughs> uh. In the final round, Ah and Noah will fight for their lives! Whoever falls down into the fire pit will be fired! <laughs> uh. <clears throat> My dear audience, where did the time go? We have to wrap this up. Don't boo me! Quick, final statements. Ah, go! Oh, um, please vote for me because I'm nice and I want to bring a nicer workplace for all. Hey, come on now. Injection. Well put. Noah, final statement. Go! Eh. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice, but strong arguments. Yeah, what do the judges say. Time to announce the winner. Ah, wins. Yeah. Did? Wow. Yeah, your prize. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thank my parents, friends, co-workers, everyone who's been with me all the way. This one's for you. I love you, mom. However, I know that this lunchbox belongs to my intern pal here. I'm glad that you can finally have it back now. What? What? Don't you dare, Noah. Uh, yeah, right. This is not cool, Ah. Uh. Give me hey. that. If you don't respect my show, then nobody should get the lunchbox. Hey, now that's just childish. Shut up, intern. Get back to work. No. What? What? I said no. How dare you? Um, a little help? Don't you even start, you little goof. You <sighs> two are she's getting weaker. <laughs> I have an idea. Get her with a note, I'll back you up. We can do this together. We are more powerful. <laughs> it's working, another one. You stop that right now. <laughs> CEO just got fired? We are free! Hooray! Guard. Hey, it's the other intern. Everyone, shut up. This charade is over. This CEO is a fake. What? <laughs> you got me. I'm just an actor. Hi, I'm Steph. I do improv, and I can also sing and play the piano. I can also DJ. So, Jim, if you need someone, call me. That would be great. Leave. Okie dokie. Follow me.
follow me at stage step. I do bar mitzvahs and weddings. Okay, bye! Hey, wait a minute. You can't fire staff. You're just an intern! Are you serious? Can't you read the room? I'm the real CEO. What? It finally happened! Our co-op CEO has shown off her true form! Seems like none of the employees knew of the deception. We weren't planning on revealing it so soon. But of course, with so many twists and turns today, our CEO had to plan her cards quick. We can't wait to see how the company deals with this twist. Ah, here comes the CEO, presumably to offer a Q&A session to her faithful employees. Let's watch closely. Silence! It's clear that I've left this company without direction for too long. Well, here comes the new direction for the company. The fun times are over. You do not get to say no anymore. That word will disappear from your tiny brains. Because if I even hear a mention of that word, I will personally destroy you. Not only will I fire you, I will make sure that you never work in this city again. Do you understand? Good. Don't you put that down right now. Do you really think you can defeat me? Fine. I dare you. No, 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 Don't. No, no, Don't. No, 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 no. No! The rest of you, get back to work. Welcome back to our live edition of Covert CEO with me, Mike Rofone. We are back today with the CEO of the company we are on location visiting right now. And have we had a dramatic twist? We've seen her enter one of her office buildings as a new intern. And as she's been working hard, learning about her workers, someone has been shaking the foundation of her company. First, let's talk to our Covert CEO. Good day! Hello there, Mike. I heard you had to make a lot of sudden changes today. That's right. There have been some discipline problems caused by this person that we had to take care of. Now the office is running at 103% efficiency. Incredible. And all from just a few changes. Now I see why you're the CEO around here. Thanks, Mike. So let's talk about the cause of the problem. Something that caught all of us by surprise. That's right, it was one of our interns. So you've had a real hostile takeover. That's right, Mike. We're not sure what company they're from, but it is clear that this intern is actually a corporate spy. And I've had to step in to save my company from their terrible propaganda, which I believe is hiding in this lunchbox. Wow, crazy! We'll be showing what's inside later, so stay tuned. So, CEO, let's talk a bit about how you got here. Well, I started with nothing, really. Earned everything myself, one might say. Amazing! Of course, I did have some help from my parents. But everything I have, I gained through hard work. It all began... My final lesson! Know that within you is the ability not just to charge, but to charge up even more. In fact, you might have already been able to do it. But did you know that there's always more? Just close your eyes and find that well of emotion. If you're finding it hard, try out some of the other techniques I've taught you. You can do it. Try it on this doofus. Go to the break room fridge and eat other people's food. Incredible! I've taught you everything I can do myself. No, no, no. But there is one last critical thing. Listen carefully. No, no. How 
told you keep doing this. Nah. Oh. The staring. Hmm. We must meet the champion. No. Hey, where did you come from? No. How did the intern? Incredible! It looks like the corporate spy intern has escaped. What will you do? Benny, Robocon won. What? Yeah, you heard me. One. Get them out. Now. What did you just do? Oh, just taking care of a certain intern with the latest in technology. The RoboWorker 3000. Hey, get back to work, bleep bloop. This is a workplace, not a stand place. Boop. Come on, we are not paying you to stand around. 101. That's very rude of you, zero, zero. No. Zero. Leave. Leave the building. Now. You just made that worker practically explode. Nah. Explode. Oil me. I mean, hello, fellow human worker. I no. whatever that. Can I borrow credits? Uh, money? I lost all of mine in the virtual dog races. No. Floor. Plug me in. I'm supposed to fire you, but I can't do it in battery saver mode. Please, my hands are too stubby to plug my mm. automatic shutdown. Benny, get me everyone. What do you mean, everyone? Everyone! Um, time for a commercial break by our sponsor. Nah, nah. Robot, stop that intern! Uh, hey, stop. Intern, no! my directive. Intern, wait. No! Sleep mode activated. Robot, make me proud. Yes, boss. Hey, intern, listen to me. You gotta tone down your negativity. Benny, is it supposed to be... Rapping? These people in power don't understand that negativity doesn't always go out of hand. Huh? Wait, what are you rapping about? <sighs> Activating my... Wait, I will help you. Excuse me? Nah. Look. Yeah. You are fired. Yes, finally. Pack your things. Right. No. Sleepy time. Stop right there. Are you a robot too? Mm. Uh, you got a spare cable. Mm. Beep. Return. No. Oh, I'm saying that. Bleep. Clapping detected. Bleep. No. Why? Relax. Calm down, fellow worker. No. Beep. <laughs> Boop. Beep. <laughs> ah. Die. <laughs> Ah, ah, press ow. OK to get okay. fired. Yeah. Inter fire hey, cancelled. Stop. Sleep mode on. Oh. Oh. No. Access denied. Sorry, you can't come through here. Nah. Apologies for the sudden interruption. We are trying to find the intern ASAP. Is no! anyone... Much better. What was even the point of all of that, hmm? You have to climb up like everyone else did. You think I never spent any time in bad internships? You think I didn't have to work 100-hour days? That I didn't climb my way up from the very bottom? You think I... I'm here because I survived it all. 
You can't even say a word without your cassette. Let me show you how it's really done. No! I said yes to everything. To back-breaking opportunities. To risky choices that meant I lost my business. To synergy and growth and whatever. What have you said yes to? Hmm? Not to the promotions. They were just given to you. Not even to those friends you've made. Uh... Pathetic. No! You just don't understand all the things I've said yes to. You can't even fathom all the time I spent being trash. You could be better too. You can just say yes, but you can't. Can you? You're shiftless, lazy. You don't know what it means to suffer the burden of yes. You just want everything handed to you. You're useless, like the rest of your generation. No! You don't even realize we're saying yes, got me. I'm a multi-billionaire, you know. Do you even understand just how much money that is? One million seconds is 11 and a half days. One billion seconds is 31 and a half years. Do you understand now? Do you get just how different we are? I could just buy your life. Buy everything you own. It will be nothing but pocket change to me. Do you finally understand? You are nothing! To commercial. Saying yes is a kind thing to do. Use this power responsibly. It's all about being a real team player. Dental plan. Saying yes is a kind thing to do. Hey. How are you? Is this a bad time? Uh, ah, there you are. Hey, so, about the rent. Can you pay for it this month? Please, I really need it. I've taught you everything I can do myself. But there is one last critical thing that I cannot help you with. Saying no to mean lunch-dealing jerks or to bad bosses. That's one thing. But say no to your best friend who's in need, even if it's pushing your limit and they're being a jerk themselves. It's... impossible. I'm sorry. I know this is already the ninth month in a row, but it's just, you know, a job in this economy. It's impossible to get anything good nowadays. No. No. W what? Are you serious? So you're just going to throw me out the window like this? I... just... bye. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I shouted at you, and that wasn't cool, and... Thank you. For saying... that word.
It's just, you were helping me all this time, but it seemed like you were so distant. Like, you weren't even there. Does that make sense? And now, when you told me that you can't, you were there. And I felt like you were present. And I appreciate your honesty and your support. Okay, it's time I do some job hunting for real. I'll see you later tonight. Bye! Come with me, in turn. You are dead. It is time for you to join me and go to the other side. You know, where the other dead people are. Ooh, I ooh. see. Mm. Uh, uh, well. Uh, uh, well. Uh, Possible. Wait, what's happening? Hey, you! No loitering! Just hover around like that. Get down here! And what's with all these sparkles? Yeah. Run! Come to my party. Head, Come to my party. <laughs> we sincerely regret your loss. Your loss? The boss? No, I said loss. The intern? They're alive! What? Incredible! Get a crew down there! Benny, what are you waiting for? I'll cancel the flower arrangement. Did you call an ambulance? Um, they... They don't need one. What do you mean? Um... Make coffee. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, my desk. Oh, 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 my desk. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Pile. The intern has let some of the more rebellious workers loose. Uh, give me that. Welcome back to Covert CEO Live. You won't believe what's happening here right now. That's right. The intern is not only alive, but is going back to confront the CEO. Along the way, they've already freed fellow co-workers. Oh, hello. Tell me, how do you feel? The intern's the best. Woo! Incredible. Let's see if we can get a few more opinions about- The intern taught me how to say no! Wow! The intern showed me that it's okay to be me! Amazing! The intern showed me that there is no time like the present! Give me your lunchbox. What? Come to my party! Will you marry me? No! I want you to marry me! Yes! Let's call Steph! Oh my! I'm quitting my job and opening a bakery! Can you carry our wedding? Yes, love is real! 
truly inspirational. Incredible. It's incredible just what's happening here. All because of a single intern and a single lunchbox. The lunchbox! Let's get the intern's lunchbox back. Aren't you scared? We've got plenty to stop them with. Besides, it's been a while since I've had a real challenge. No! Do you have an appointment? Actually, yes. I called earlier. Should be down as unruly mob. Uh, Miss CEO, it's your 7 p.m. meeting with the unruly mob. It's regarding a lunchbox. What are you doing? Don't just let them in. No. Stop this right now. It's time for everyone here to say yes. Saying yes is a positive thing. It's nice to see you. Yes is good. You said yes to this job. Without this. How dare you! Stop it this instant! This lunchbox is mine! I'm not even hungry, but that doesn't matter. No. Tolerate you trying to ruin everything I've made. You have to climb up from the bottom like everyone else did. Do you think I never spent any time in bad internships? Mm. That I didn't have to work 100 hour weeks as well? I didn't have to force us to work 100 hour weeks like you. You could have ended the cycle, but you chose to keep it. I'm doing you a favor. I chose to give you the same opportunity as I had. You don't even have to work as many hours as I did. You could become like me if you'd only play by the rules. No. How can you call it a favor? We are working for you. We don't get paid enough in general, especially not to also deal with the fragile personalities of our bosses. Yeah, you can't work as hard as 300 of us, but you earn that much. That's because I basically did the work of 300 people. Now I get to earn the money that I deserve. The money from the company I worked hard to make. That I... It's not even about the money. Yeah, we just want to like being at work. What are we even sacrificing our lives for? Well, I chose to suffer and endured it all. And now I'm rich and I'm happy. Are you happy? whatever dumb, menial task it's given to me? To have to just run around being the lackey? I said yes to every stupid co-worker party. Yes to getting every complex lunch order I couldn't even afford. Yes to every board manager with too much time on their hands. I have my own work, but sure, I'll listen to you complain about golf. No. We know you're a person, too. No, you don't understand. You don't get how stupid it is to have to say yes all the time. You don't know how hard it is to be happy all the time, to pretend to be strong when you feel so weak, to pretend to be happy when you feel so sad, to have to smile even though you feel terrible inside. Because if you don't, some idiot will tell you to smile. No, we know what... No, you don't get it. I didn't even want to be like this. I wish it were okay to be weak, to be sad, but apparently that makes you selfish. I just don't want to be a bad person. I just want to fit in and be accepted. Now it's all too late to change it anyway. I can't 
be anyone else now. I mean, what am I even supposed to do? I've just tried to do the right thing all this time. And now it's all wrong? It's all bad? How can I fix this by myself? Now it's all too late to change it anyway. both in your work life and your everyday life. It doesn't mean you have permission to hurt others. You can't just perpetuate harmful behavior. You are in power. It's up to you to stop it for the rest of us. You can be a better person. Make the world a better place. I... I'm sorry. I'm a bad boss. I'm a bad person. I screwed over everything and everyone. And now it's all ruined. Forever. Because of me. No. We can fix this together. Sure was a doozy, eh? Oh yeah, yesterday was crazy. It's wild to think it all happened in a single day. Hey, so what happened exactly? I had like one day off and it's like a whole new office. It is a whole new office. It is? The last one did get destroyed. It did? But I mean, the important thing is that we can say no now. Wait, really? Yeah. That's wild. That used to be a big thing. I know. Hey, can yeah. anyone do overtime tonight? Um, no, sorry. Tonight? No. Uh, okay, don't worry about it. I figured something out. Thanks anyway. Oh, wow! Yeah, see? Oh, you're empty. Do you need a refill? Huh? No, I don't want to bother you. Oh, no, I'm going to the kitchen anyway. Don't worry about it. Good morning, everyone! Morning, Maya! Uh, we are running out of ink on this floor. I'll get that sorted for you. Thanks! Everyone good? Can I leave work early tonight? Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue. Just log it in. What's happening? Are you and Zame having a date night? Just a little one to the movies, yeah. Aw, you two have fun. Will do. Knock, knock. Steph's pitching training is in 10 minutes. Feel free to join if you'd like in the innovation room. Maya, where oh. are you going? Yeah, take a little break. Oh, I shouldn't. Yeah, come and relax for a few minutes. Play a round of table tennis with us. Hmm, isn't your thing saying yes? Ha ha, all right then, but just one. Hey, can you copy these papers? Hmm, no, not really. I'm kind of busy. Ah, oh, dang, sorry. Hey, I can give you a hand. Oh, thank you so much. Here's your lunch. No onions. Yay, my lunch order. Thanks. Your lunches are the best. Oh, well, thank you for supporting my business. I have a lunch order for you. That's 100 monies. What do you say to that? Mm? I mean, it is certainly a... Uh, you heard right. It's super. <laughs> I guess I'll have to give you my best friend discount. That means it's free. Lunch order received. I'll see you soon. Hello, knock knock. Oh, looks like you're ready for lunch. Let's go. Perhaps in a different world, one of new 
once and wonder. The advice to say no more is actually pretty bad advice. And maybe in that more nuanced world, many people would never need such straightforward advice. But all I'm really asking is that you live your life each day being the best person you can be. Saying no to things that are unreasonable. Saying no to things that cause you or others harm. And understanding the power you have to change yourself, to change the world, and the systems that you live in. Saying no more means what it says. It's not about always saying no. It's not about never saying yes. But if you are listening to this, maybe you should consider the advice and say no! <laughs>